Hello everyone. It's Jenny Guy to change again. How you guys doing? How you guys holding up? Are you fine? I might have an accent because everything is not fine, man. Everything is not fine. We've all got a lot in our mind. And the economy is not making it easy. Our leaders are not making it easy. But we have to keep our sanity in check, right? That's very important. We need to keep our sanity in check. We need to see. We need to start seeing things clearly. We know a lot of people are trying are trying to change the perspective of how we see things. But we have to show them it's not working. We have to stay strong. We have to support each other. We have to be there for each other. We have to help one another. That's how we stay. That's how we're going to beat this. So um, today, I'm here with um, this article or so. It says, federal agencies want millions of iPhone users to change their settings now. And the reason for that is the U.S. Department of Homeland Security agency issued an alert to Apple product users this week due to a security vulnerability for iPhone, iPods, macOS devices as Apple announced it was releasing a security update for those flaws. What are those flaws? The threat was substantial enough to draw an alert from the DHS office that the DHS of Cyber Security and Infrastructure Security Agency, CISA, which issued a statement on February 14 that Apple updates include iOS 16.3.1, iPad OS 16.3.1, and Mac OS Ventura 13.2.1, while the firm is rolling out Safari 16.3.1, to older Apple operating systems, including macOS Big Sur and macOS Monitor. Apple has actually has also um, released security updates to address vulnerabilities in multiple products. An attacker could easily exploit these vulnerabilities, according to them, to take control of, of an affected device, said the U.S. Um, Cyber Security and Infrastructure Agency on the statement. In February 14, on February 14, sorry. The CISA bulletin advised users and administrators to review the Apple security pages for the product and apply the necessary updates as soon as possible. That includes the Safari, the iPad, the Mac, and Mac OS devices. According to a notice on Apple website, the bug phase is being rolled out because an app may be able to execute the arbitrary code with kernel privileges, and another allow for processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to arbitrary code execution. For the second bug of CVE 2023-23529, Apple said it's aware about the report, and this issue may have been actively exploited. Scott, um, Scott Radcliffe, a spokesperson for Apple, told Tech Website, uh, told, uh, tech website and Gadgets that it does not have more details on the exploit that were mentioned in the security update. Some news agency has contacted the uh, California-based frame for comments. Uh, security researchers from Sophos um, provided more details about the security update on Tuesday saying that users should update as soon as possible. The security flaws are described as described as a zero-day spyware implant bug, meaning it was previously unknown uh, vulnerability that could be actively exploited. Of course it has to be. Of course that's what they're going to say. We, 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 we don't expect them to say anything. Don't expect them to say anything different, do you? Of course not. So, um... Moving on, just looking at the website, which ought to be harmless, or opening an app that relies on web-based content for its pages, for example, its splash screen or help system could be enough to infect a device, it says about one of the exploits. Remember that on Apple mobile devices, even Apple browsers such as Firefox, Chrome, and Edge are compelled by Apple's uh, 
are compelled by Apple's App Store rules to stick to WebKit and the WebKit and the, and the website says if you install Firefox which has its own browser engine called Gecko or Edge based on, on the line layer called Blink on your Mac those alternative browsers don't use WebKit under the hood and therefore won't be vulnerable to WebKit bugs it's noted so um, how to update, how to make this update on your device, those of you who use Apple. Generally, Apple users have an automatic update on. So, however, if that's not the case, a user can go to Apple menu, then click about this Mac and click on software update. On iPad, iPhone and other iDevices, they can go to settings, general, then software update. If your Apple product isn't on the list, notably if you're stuck on the i iOS 15 or iOS 12, there's nothing you can do right now, but we're suggesting to keep an eye on Apple page in case your product is affected and does get in the updates in the next few days. So guys, um, that's all I have for you guys in this video. Uh, see you guys in the next one, but this is what I actually want to comment before going. Um, there's a video I released, there's a video I put out on, on Rumble, it was talking about something like this. But um, this isn't a bug or this isn't the spyware, it's just natural. You guys, um, the video link to, to that, I'll, I'll put the video link in the description of this, of this video. So you guys can watch it, you guys can actually understand. This is, the, they say here that this is a bug, but this one is not a bug and this one has been happening for years. This one has been happening for years. It has been exploited for years and no one is doing anything about it because it's f according to them it's like it's for security purposes but this is people's privacy we're talking about here and it is important so you guys check out the video and see 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 there so even 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 if you do this update it doesn't still matter because of that that one is not going anywhere so you guys need to check out that video it's, it's really really important as you guys sh would know by now that we don't actually have any real privacy in the world so as the world is moving on to you own nothing and you'll be happy kind of thing it's it's really really hard to say really really hard to say for now so um, share this video if you like you can like you can comment when i mean share this video i mean don't just share with your phone you can also share with your mouth you can also talk to your friends and your family members about it and Everyone needs to be updated on the right information because that's the only way we're going to build this. We need to know the tactic of our enemy for us to be able to evade them. See you guys in the next video. Bye.